Hey guys, this is my Lego Marvel minifigure collection. Um, I have a lot of the recent MCU Lego minifigures. Um, this is all pretty much just basically all MCU minifigures. Um, and I pretty much, I think I've had almost every single MCU minifigure at one point. Like, all of like the first Guardians figures, all of the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 minifigures, and then like, I mean the original Avengers minifigures and like all of them, but I kind of got rid of a lot of the older ones. And then I kind of like started collecting them last year. So, I mean, I still have like some of the older ones because I had them, but it was more like I had like, um, like all the active, like I guess you could say active Avengers minifigures, but then whenever there'd be new minifigures, I'd kind of get rid of the old ones to, so I could buy the new ones. But now it's, I'm collecting them in like sets. So like over here I have pretty much all Infinity War minifigures and then Iron Man's and then just miscellaneous minifigures miscellaneous uh, villain minifigures, Thanos and the Black Order, and then the Endgame minifigures. So, I mean, I'll go more in depth than that in just a second, but I mean, like, I have them more in, like, collections and sets kind of, like, grouped up together, and eventually I'll probably start getting rid of, like, the sets back there, and maybe, like, the Avengers Towers or move the Hulkbusters, like, all closer together, and then, um, and then, like, I'll have, like, just pretty much, like, a whole bunch of more minifigures. And all I just need is really just base plates and more of these minifigure stands, which is, which is really just all I need to really make this all look good and whatnot. So yeah, I'm gonna go from the right side to the left. So over here, I like I said, these are all my Infinity War pig, not pictures, Infinity War minifigures, so, except for the back row. I mean, I have Bruce Banner, Valkyrie, Hawkeye, I, Ant Man, Ant Man of the Wa or the Wasp, Wu Wong, and uh, Loki. So these guys were actually in Infinity War, but then. These guys weren't. Uh, Bruce Banner kind of was. Yeah, he was. Um, and then Nebula. Um, you know, I mean, I'm not gonna name them all. It's kind of obvious who some of them are. And then I have the Hulk. That's an Age of Ultron version. Um, the original Groot. Pretty much all the Hulkbuster suits, and even the Giant Man. And then. These are all the Iron Mans except for the one from the UCS Hulkbuster. I even have this one right here, the little nano figure. Um, for Endgame sets, I have all of them except for the big one. I just bought the three minifigures. I bought this Iron Man, that Ant Man, and then the Nebula, which you'll see on the Endgame display. Um, that's the display from the UCS Hell Carrier, which I do have, but I'm not including this in the collection. It's right behind me, but I'm not going to show it off just because that's more of a set. This is more like my minifigure display. Um, and then you have the Avengers Tower. It's missing a little pole on the top, but I mean, it it, it makes up the the black glass display that's all empty, which that's why I also have these sets here. And then I have the new Spider-Man Far From Home set. Once I get more minifigures, I'll probably make another display with like miscellaneous figures because these guys are already like on the edge. And um, I mean, they could I could definitely use like another more miscellaneous figure display, anyways. And then that's just the new Spider-Man set. I'm pretty excited. Um, this is kind of not necessary to know, but I'm gonna be in Japan in like two weeks. I'm going on vacation, which um, is kind of cool because I'll be there the day um, that Spider-Man comes out. But Spider-Man actually comes out on the 28th of June over in Japan. So I'll be able to see it like, you know, like nearly a week before the US, which is kind of exciting. Like I'll come back home and I've already been I already he could have seen Spider-Man like five days before, and Spider-Man wouldn't even come out for like another two, which is actually really exciting. I'm kind of excited to do that. Um, and then over here I have the uh, Avengers Quinjet, the new one, and then the I believe it's called the Benatar is what the name of. It's like the new Milano basically from Infinity War. It even has the ship on the back, and then the villain from Homecoming, the Vulture, I believe, and then just other villains. And, uh, oh, this is actually a custom, um, Red Skull, but this is more like, of course, the Infinity War and Endgame version. So basically, I have two capes on it. One's, like, a really old one from an old Harry Potter set, um, and this is the other one from a new Harry Potter set, along with the legs, and even the body, I think. Yeah, it's pretty much one of the, the both capes are from two different, um, Dementors from, I believe that's what they're called, from Harry Potter. One's, like, a really old one, one's the newer one. And then I just gave him the Red Skull face and then the mask from, again, the, one of the Dementors or whatever. And then I gave him this stone looking piece that looks like the Soul Stone. 
So I just kind of have them there. But this one's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna put it back. So yeah, so that's that one. And then I have the Ant-Man villain. And then just other random ones, just to fill up space. And then the Thanos one. I like that newer Thanos that they have, but again, I'm not, I didn't want to buy that set just because it's a hundred bucks and all I'm getting is figures. And I just rather would have spent, because we didn't spend like 35 bucks to get, or nearly 40 actually, to get the Iron Man, the little Ant-Man, and the Nebula. And then here are the Endgame minifigures. Um, oh yeah, and this one, um, this one's kind of custom. I just bought another one of the Captain Americas, which as you can see over here, I used that shield and that helmet for. Um, so I, so that's where I got the extra body from. And this was like a little Hulk minifigure from a poly bag a few years back. I believe it's actually kind of rare. So if you want to do this, it's going to cost you some money. But I was able to get all like 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, yeah, 10 of the Endgame Avengers figures together and make this pretty cool long display, which I really, really like. I think that's actually really cool. Um, and then right above it is my Captain America shield signed by Stan Lee. The shield itself is a hundred bucks. It's the, um, like, I know that's in Star Wars, they're like black series, but I believe they're called like collector series or whatever. Um, really cool, really cool kind of toys. Um, it came with the scratch and then we got it signed two years ago at the 2017 Emerald City Comic Con. And then, um, over here is two sealed, not really sealed, but two of the, um, I don't remember what they're called. San Diego Comic Con exclusive minifigures. Along with a sealed Ant Man set, and then I even have a solo San Diego Comic Con set. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it to my ultimate Lego Marvel minifigure collection. I'm just going to call it the Lego Marvel collection just to keep the name simple. Because, like I said, like right behind me is a Hella Carrier, but I mean, I, it, it's cool, but I just don't want it displayed here. Although I actually probably could later, but I just like how it is now a lot and um, all the kind of stuff that's here. So yeah, so that's pretty good for this huge collection and it's worth quite a lot of money, of course. I'm gonna keep it for a while and I'm gonna keep on adding things on. Like I'll probably get one more Spider-Man set, the new one, the other one that's 40 bucks, but I won't get the bigger one. And then there's gonna be more Lego sets to buy in the next few years and whatnot. So that's pretty exciting. And yeah, so just stay tuned. I'll make another one of these videos in another few years or so. But yeah, so this is my Lego Marvel minifigure collection, and yeah, so thanks for watching, and goodbye.